getting up wondering, I need to fill up my gas tank. This is what you're in store for. People are already lining up right now. People lined up overnight. The long lines did not seem to be going down. We have been monitoring the situation for you this morning since those lines started yesterday through the evening and into the overnight. It's not just in Austin that we're seeing this. It's across the state of Texas. Texas officials say there is enough gas for normal consumption. It's just what you're seeing at the pump is not normal. It's the demand that has skyrocketed over fears, fears that they're running out. Kate is live for us from Southeast Austin with a closer look. 30 minutes ago, that was still pretty busy. Uh, yeah, it actually has not stopped, Sally, and it's been fascinating to watch. We are at the 7-Eleven off East Riverside Drive, right near Lakeshore Boulevard, and this is probably the slowest it's been throughout the morning that we've been here. Uh, while all the pumps are open, they are out of pretty much everything. The only thing they have is the premium. That's the expensive stuff costing folks just shy of three bucks a gallon. And you know, chances are you may have waited in an hour long line yesterday to get gas or found that the gas stations around your neighborhood were just gone. They were empty of gas. So we want to explain what is going on here because 15 petroleum refineries were taken down or running at a reduced capacity. There has been a panic among some residents that the state could run out of gas. So we asked the Railroad Commission if that was true, and they tell us no. They say the reason you are seeing gas stations running out of gasoline is because everyone is topping off their cars at an unusual rate. And if Texans remain calm and return to their normal buying patterns, the supply issues at the pump will go back to normal in the next three to four days. Still, that's not stopping some from heading to the pump. Around 6 to 7 p.m., people were waiting up to two hours. We took up the whole um, Guadalupe, like we had a whole line and everything, MLK, it was crazy. The average Texan fills up their car every 10 days. Well, if all Texans go on the same day to fill up their car, that's demanding 10 times as much gasoline in that day as the system is designed to support, and it won't work. So if you need to fill up, so the keyword need to fill up, you can check gasbuddy.com. You can see the ones in red, that means they don't have fuel. The ones in green mean that gas station still has gasoline. Now remember, this is reported by drivers, not the station itself typically, and we have a link to this through our website at kxan.com. So the Railroad Commission says their best advice to you, if you can, just wait to fill up. They say if everyone starts to just wait, not panic, that supplies will return to normal again. Of course, Sally, that can certainly be hard, especially when you just look at your Facebook feed this morning. I mean, that's all anybody is talking about out there is how they're going to the gas station. So I think it's kind of leading to a vicious cycle. So that's why the Railroad Commission is saying, if you can wait, just wait.